Sloan, thank you very much. Well, you said it earlier, it is Friday, Junior, Small Friday, or if you just want to call it Thursday, and this week we are finally back in the kitchen with nutrition educator Lynn Mateva, who of course has some brand new tips and tricks that you can use in your very own home. Check it out. So what happens when your CSA box or your farm to family box comes with um, something in it you don't recognize and you don't know what to do with it? Or maybe you're at the farmer's market and you see something like this humongous bunch of escarole and you think to yourself, what can I do with that? Um, it's very important that we try to get some dark leafy greens in. They're so very good for us. And um, escarole is, is uh, one of those type of dark leafy greens. It is a very bitter um, lettuce, so we don't usually eat this raw. So I thought it'd be really fun to show you because this is local. These came from a local farm in Pittsville, and I was very excited to find them. Um, and I hope that if you see them right now, you might be excited too after I show you what we do with them. So uh, basically, because we don't usually eat them raw, you want to chop them up. There is, um, you can throw them into soups. There's an Italian wedding soup that uses these, uh, uses this in it. Or my favorite thing to do with it um, is to blanch it. So I would throw it into a pot of boiling water. We're gonna pretend that's boiling for now, right? And then um, I would let it cook for about two minutes. And what this does is it helps get some of the bitter out and it gets it nice and soft. And then, once it's all been cooked, I drain it and I have this nice little plate. Um, and this is, as you saw, this is a humongous head of escarole, but about half of it cooks down to this. So once you get this nice little plate of escarole, you realize that um, you, know, you can cook the whole thing and it makes a nice side for a family. And then, um, I used to saute this stuff, but I stole this tip from the governor's wife, Yumi Hogan, and it's my new favorite way to cook any kind of dark leafy green. I do this with Swiss chard, I do this with spinach, if I'm going to cook them. I just blanch them in the water, and then they haven't been cooked in a ton of oil, um, and they, you know, are pretty much a blank slate. I am going to add a little bit of oil on here, though. I've got some garlic infused oil. You can buy this in the store. I made my own, but I'm just drizzling just a little teeny bit for flavor. And then, um, you know, you could sprinkle this with a little bit of salt or your favorite seasoning, a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Um, I'm going to use it to kind of build my, my meal around. So I've got my, if you build your meal around vegetables, then we know that we have uh, a good base to start with and we're getting all our veggies and I've got some grilled chicken here. Um, some other great things you can do with this though is you can use uh, any kind of sauteed green to stir into eggs in the morning or just to have, you know, as, as a part of a side for your lunch, um, to top your grain bowls with. Kind of the opportunities are endless. So if you cook up a big batch of this at the beginning of the week, you, you know you've got some dark leafy greens to help fortify your, uh, your diet with some healthy vegetables as you're preparing your meals all week long. Now, as a reminder, we do have all of Lynn's tips and recipes on our website. All you have to do to find those is to log on to 47abt.com and make sure you click on the Good Morning Delmarva page. 